Good morning guys. Today's a very special day. Firstly, because I'm shooting on the Sony RX0 Mark II, which um, I was very grateful to get my hands on early. So I'm hoping I can shoot the whole day on this. And the reason why I also am choosing to do this, because this is a very rugged, waterproof, weatherproof camera. And we are in India for one of their craziest festivals, the Holy Festival. In a few hours, this street behind me, and I guess all the streets around here, it's just gonna be chaos. And um, it's the color festival, basically. There's gonna be powdered paint and water guns and everything. So we're gonna be out here getting covered in muck. But before we do, we are walking down to the bank of the Ganges River, and we're gonna, um, yeah, just see what's going on there. Check out this cow behind me. Yes, bro. Oh, we have been this already, okay. <laughs> oh no, okay, oh thank you. <laughs> okay. Feels very special to be here on, I guess, one of the most important days of the year in India. I think there's a lot of people that have come to Varanasi as I think it's one of the most spiritually significant cities in India and especially the Ganges is this river is uh, a holy river and I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people bathe and drink from it it's um, yeah I guess it give, has a lot of healing properties ATMs are closed today because, I don't know, it's a holiday, stuff, stuff's gonna get crazy. What did the guy say? The ATM's closed because when people get drunk, they throw rocks at the ATM. <laughs> the main thing I'm excited about with the, the new, the Mark II of the RX-0 is that it can shoot in 4K for apparently an unlimited amount of time or until you run out of battery. Uh, and they're also going to be testing out the uh, 120 frames at 1080, get some cool slow-mo shots. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, this is the spot. This is the spot. Out on the river. Just headed a little bit further down the the Ganges, and we're gonna. I think we're gonna hop off the boat here and walk back. Um, it's been such a beautiful morning so far. Last time I was here, we didn't actually have a lot of time. It was on the rickshaw run. Me and Ben and Jack came down. We like went out on a little boat, got the photos, and then we had to run back and meet the boys and get on the road. But it's nice to actually spend a few days here. And uh, this is, yeah, this does feel like a really special place. Our mission now is to get back to the children's home that we're staying in without getting covered in paint because we need to drop our expensive kind of not weatherproof, dustproof cameras back there and then I'm just going to be hitting the streets with this. But we are worried because we've already had two people rub uh, powder on us. And One kid was going to squirt you with water. Yeah, there's like wa water guns and everything. So. We're just hoping we can get back without breaking our cameras. Also, there's dogs everywhere and it's amazing. See, buddy. Ah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Bye. We're feeling like this is going to be a difficult mission because every, everyone's stopping rubbing paint on us. We narrowly escaped some kids squirting water off, off the rooftops. I had oh a kid running at me with a full bottle of water. Oh my gosh. I had to get aggressive. We just need to watch the rooftops here. I guess no one's walking down here, so we're good. Oh, that was flipping close. It's getting our cameras destroyed. That was an amazing morning though, man. Oh yeah. Oh. We got to oh. cover before we go back out. Yeah, so um, the plan is now, I don't know if you guys saw yesterday's vlog, but we are staying at this, uh, kind of children's school, home, ashram, yoga place that this uh, amazing lady, Lucy's running. And uh, I think it's this way. We're just trying to find a way back there now. But anyway, they're gonna hold their own mini kind of holy powder color party that we're gonna partake in and hang out with their, them for a little bit and then we'll hit the streets again a bit later on. Right, back home. Now it's time to get into our proper holy outfits, which we can actually get messy. Yay! Happy, yeah. Happy holy! Oh, well done, well done. Okay, we're going to the we're going to party on the roof. Hello, happy holy! Yeah. Okay, we're done with the rooftop party. We are hitting the streets now. We're gonna brave the streets. We've, uh, we've been given a lot of warnings that things could get violent. I've already had a water balloon in my eye, but um, yeah, I think we do it. I think we risk it. Happy Holy! Happy Holy! Happy Holy! Happy Holy! Happy Holy! Hello! Happy Holy! Ah, very nice! How's it going? Happy Holy! Oh my gosh, I just, I just got ambushed. Oh my gosh. Literally every few seconds, someone else splats me, <coughs> splats me with another colour. Hara Hara Mahadev. Hara Hara Mahadev. Hara Hara Mahadev. Okay. Mahadev. Yeah. 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 Happy Holi. Happy Holi. With me also. Yeah. Happy Holi. Happy Holi. Like I was saying, I think every time I start filming, my face is going to be a different colour. Um, Okay, we've decided to avoid the main streets and go back along the kind of bank of the river because I think it's a little bit more chilled here. One thing I have noticed is there's like no women anywhere. It's just, it's like 99.9% .9 men. <laughs> and I think it's probably because it's just a little bit too violent and I have already been groped. And I don't know, I just don't know if this is the place. I don't know if the Holy Festival is a place for girls or women to come. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would feel super protected if Ryo was here right now. I'd be like, I think I would have got into a fist fight. Oh, this needs to go. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Because it's not a bribe, I guess it's a girl. Yes, girl. We are lost in the back streets right now. We're trying to find our way to the main road. We, I think we're finding our way. Oh, hey, guys. Look at these goats just chilling. <laughs> guys, me and Cam are heading back to the children's home. How did you find it, bro? Dude, that was so intense, but so much fun. <laughs> I have literally powdered down my pants in between my teeth, <laughs> and who knows where else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're colored. We're, we're literally every color of the rainbow right now. Oh More God. selfies than I've ever taken in my entire life. Yeah. We have a problem. First, there's no showers in this building, so we have to use like a bucket and this tap. Secondly, this dye is not coming off. I've just been scrubbing my arm for like five minutes. Bro, we're, we're screwed. It's like all over us. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We're cleaned up, we've been napping all afternoon, we've just had hours of amazing conversation, and uh, now we're having a late dinner, so these boys are helping us. We've got some rice and some dal. Well, it's midnight, which is pretty late for me here in India because we've been getting to bed earlier and getting up earlier. We've, we've agreed to get up for um, 5.20 or 5.15 to do some meditation with the kids tomorrow morning. I don't know whether I'll make it, but maybe. And uh, anyway, then we're flying uh, home from there. So this was our final day in India. And I hope you guys enjoyed a little taster of the Holy Festival. Obviously it's happening all over India and um, quite a few other people went to Holi. I've seen a load of my friends here. Unfortunately, we weren't in the same cities, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Word of advice, um, I would just research which places are safer, maybe less crowded, especially if you're a girl coming. Um, make sure you're going to, you've got some strong guys to protect you because, well, I mean, you could be a strong girl, but I'm just, I don't know. I just feel like Westerners are already targets and me and Cam um, had a task kind of just, um, you know, protecting ourselves from the chaos. So just be careful if you are coming and you're more vulnerable. But other than that, it was amazing and it was great to see the culture and celebrate and lots of friendly people. And uh, I also really enjoyed shooting on the Sony RX0 Mark II today. Um, hopefully uh, you guys will agree that it is pretty epic for such a tiny camera. Um, I actually can't show you, I mean I showed you at the beginning how small it is but um, it's it's basically GoPro sized and um, it's shooting like this. Now, I haven't reviewed the footage yet, so the only thing I'm wondering is whether the audio is okay today or whether I got dust in the microphone, hopefully I didn't. I would say the advantages are that it's a really small camera, just so easy to pull in and out of my pocket. It's basically, from what I hear, all the same specs as the RX100. Uh, other than the fact it's got a fixed lens, so it's fixed 24 uh, at an aperture of 4, which is pretty good. Um, it's not going to be incredible in low light, and on a lot of other levels it's not going to compare to the, um, the A7 series. But for what this is, um, it's amazing. I love the flip screen. The flip screen. Um, Few issues, biggest issues, the battery life. Uh, I, I ran out of two batteries today, so I was onto my third. 
and I I think that's something that needs to be resolved. You could just buy three batteries and roll around or with a battery pack. I was charging it throughout the day. So that's one option um, that needs some improvement. But other than that, I, I honestly think this is a, a fantastic camera and hopefully quite a fun one to vlog on um, if you happen to vlog on a fixed lens. Anyway, I'll link some of the other technical specs below because I don't really want to list them all out. But you kind of saw how it performed today, what it looked like. And um, yeah, it was just incredibly easy just to whip in and out and film and stuff. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I will catch you soon, guys. Peace out. Enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.